Hmm, a notice board. Might find something interesting here. the dog's life get up, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Damn, that was close. Innkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltest died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. No wedding, Zoltan. <laughs> The Bregan rigs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. I would be popular if you to let a rebel firebrand join the family. Enkeep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bought Zoltan an absolutely grand Dublin, a pair of Garibaldi Krakows, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. You were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. You could have held a pin drop. Old Brecken grows and he says, A real dwarf works a mine. Not chase his fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Breckenrick says, then proceeded to slop two full balls of the shite. Old goat. Hope his mind caves in on his head. Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey, nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> that wasn't very supportive. Laugh away. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania. Now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen of the world. As long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. Leave him be, Geralt. You play the spy a bit, get bored and drop it. You know how he is. Lorido said you're working with the Scoia, tells Alton. I have done many things in my life, Geralt, but I have never stooped to banditry. The Scoia tell don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Scoia'tael. The dragon... well, the dragon appeared and that's all I know. But where did the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby and it just felt threatened. 
If you hadn't driven it off, Foltest might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbolt and Count Merivel, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the Lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Natalis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette Lambs, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, well, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds significant stake. Where were the mages? Aye. Where were the great eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited. Neither was I, but if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimbolt would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stay in Temeria if he's crowned. I think I've heard enough about politics. Foltest Killer lay in wait in the tower, where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute, what were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. How did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Skoyatel were waiting in a boat. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. Sorceress, are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say... I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. 
Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. Sozek doesn't look too good. Lay him inside somewhere. Right, we've dawdled enough already. Come on, lads. Let's go. What's this? I was ready for a rumble there. Shut it, and come on. I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Kalen, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold. Sharp as ever. You're thinking that? Troll eyes, goo venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact, too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Kran emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there, on the upper floor. You know the inn's also a whorehouse. Thanks for the warning. Our always said, go ask the mason to take you as his apprentice. Greetings, white-haired one. I could do with your help. You see, I'm looking for a certain formula. I'm no herbalist. I know who you are. I'll be straight. Find the formula and you'll earn a sizable pouch of orans. Sounds good. What do you want me to do? The formula is in the hands of a certain shopkeeper. Can't go and see him yourself? He deals in incense. One type is particularly... popular. I think what he sells is harmful, yet I need the formula to prove it. The scoundrel knows that and is very cautious. Yet I assume you, as a witcher, have your ways? I'll see what I can do. What's it to me?
you free. No, you're not handsome enough. Where might you be going? Uh, what kind of question is that? Anyway, know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. Hmm, you did turn pale when we met Sheila. You must have imagined that. I know you too well. Sheila's one of the most powerful sorceresses. That's no reason to fear her. She can't be trusted, in my experience. I know her to be devious and manipulative. Any proof? She's well aware you lost your memory, yet pretended she didn't know. Now why would she do that? I don't know. Her true intentions have always been hard to fathom. I'll see if I can't learn what they are. How? I'll go hunting with her, right after I find Cedric. Well, then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. I seek the elf named Cedric. Any of you know where he is? a year now. Moril would delight in a day like this, Saharan. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the long run. I try. I do. But I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. Don't let others shay poison your memory of her. Hatred is but an outlet for helplessness. Thank you, Cedric. Vafail. Vafail. Take care of yourself. Are you Cedric? Who asks? Geralt of Rivia. Ah, the Witcher. And? Triss Marigold. Lovely scent, Triss. Cedric, look at me. What do you want, Geralt of Rivia? Who exactly are you? One who warns humans against the dangers that lurk in the forest. Care to clarify? I am old, even for an elf. Yet the forest is older. I've lived in it for years and understand it, though it's nothing I can explain. At times I make mistakes and people don't come home. So you help humans? I just know if it's safe to venture beyond the gates or not. What are the Scoia'tael fighting for? Do you ask about the Old Ones, who hoped to restore our race to its previous glory? Or about the Young Ones, who fight for survival and out of suicidal revenge? Yorvith's warriors. Which mold do they fit? They believe they are still independent, and that there is but one just way to view their cause. In truth, however, they're but a shadow of the Enshe's former glory. They cling to delusions to the very moment when a sword or a noose ends their life, or until they realize the truth themselves, which is, I believe, the worst. Maybe I'll come back when you're sober. You witches live a long life. You may indeed get to see that day. The elf woman you were talking about, how did she disappear? Sir Harim believes the forest took her. What do you believe? Moril simply vanished, almost a year ago now. Some say she was too beautiful, and Dwan must have harmed her. You believe that? If I have no evidence before me, I try to trust my feelings. And they tell me the forest did not take her. Why would you keep that from Sir Harim? Because it's meaningless. Perhaps she was murdered, perhaps she departed on her own, never to return. She's gone. And neither I nor Sir Harim can reverse that. 
I'm looking to hunt in this area, and I could use some advice. I'm no witcher. I set traps, snares, try to keep Neckers away from Lobinden. That's all. I'm aiming a little higher than Neckers. The old man? Meaning the Cairn? Finally, Laredo's splurged. Listen, I'm not one to teach your grandmother to suck eggs. You witchers know your work. But if you pay me, I can prepare a useful trap. What kind of trap? Puncturing trap, immobilizing trap, even decoys to pull monsters into an ambush. Whatever you like. Since I can easily finish off an ensnared necker, it should be child's play for you. I need to make a few orns. You wouldn't happen to have a job for a witcher, would you? There's never a shortage of work for a witcher in this forest. It's positively teeming with beasts. Though I'm not surprised they come here in droves. Know why that is? Cursed places attract all sorts of scum, like dung attracts flies. There was once a great house in the clearing. They locked up lunatics there. During the war with Nilfgaard, it was raised in a fire. The lunatics broiled in their cells. The ruins remain cursed to this day. Two daredevils went off to explore the ruins recently. They haven't been seen since. A great house, you say. Tell me more about the building itself. It was an old manor house that was converted into a mental institution. There was no shortage of lunatics in wartime. They just kept coming. Reverend Mercier locked them up in there and looked after them. If you find the two people lost in the ruins of the mental asylum, you stand to be handsomely rewarded by them or their families. No harm in trying. I aim to kill the Karen. Heard you might be able to help. That depends on the sort of aid you seek. I need information. We should have killed it years ago. No. Now I don't know. The beast has become too large for the riverbed. And it has strange growths on its tentacles. Extremely thick skin. Previously, it inhabited a swamp along one of the Pontar's tributaries. Completely wild terrain. Even the Scoia'tael don't venture there. You should go see the wreck of the boat it recently sank. Inspect any traces it's left. See the destruction. Where's this wreck? Venture south into the forest, then turn east toward the river. You'll find the ruins of a bridge erected long ago by the Enche. The wreck lies at their foot. Thanks, Cedric. You'll find me by the boat wreck. Jeez, Triss. Sure you're not overusing those teleports? I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Greetings. Mind if I take a look at what you have in stock? Certainly. You're welcome to. I'm Fioravanti, a merchant. Not to be nosy, but weren't you hired to kill the Cairan? I've had my fill of this place, and I'll be glad when the blockade is finally lifted. The reader won't let you traders out until it suits him. Seems he needs you here for some reason. What's that supposed to mean, damn it? Is he organizing some international trade fair? I'm a subject of King Demavend. But I tell you, Demavend's dead. Ah. Uh. Now, if you don't mind, can we get down to business?
youngster screaming in dates with the old man will not night. <laughs> I know you're kind. <coughs> Welcome to my modest shop. What do you deal in? All kinds of incense, mainly. For meditation, rejuvenation, cooking, making medicine, rituals, whatever you require. I need one of your incense formulae. I've got more than 200 here. I'm interested in the best seller. Someone's offering a handsome price for that formula. They say it's harmful. Impossible. I haven't had a single complaint. And I'll not give the formula to anyone. How about this? I give you a formula for a similar scent. You get your reward and I keep my secret. If I don't get the real formula by the count of five, you'll be greeting one of the two friends I carry on my back. One. Two. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, maybe we can come to an agreement. Three. All right, wait. I'll give it to you. Here. Happy? Blossom's got a garrison. We don't need a witcher. Everything in order? Got him! Go on, a wee bit more. Change your grip. Humans know as much about arm wrestling as I know about screwing trolls. Don't try anything stupid. How did it go? Did you get the formula? I have it. Show me. Here it is. Grand! I must check its authenticity in the lab before I can give you your coin. I'm a cautious man. Forgive me. I'm cautious too. Give me back the formula. All right. We'll go together. I'll wait for you by the gate at the market side.
Ready? As I said, I'm cautious. My lab is well hidden, and I want to keep it that way. So I'll have to blindfold you. You never mentioned a blindfold. I like to know where I'm going. Forgive me, but secrecy is essential to me. If you can't agree, it's all off. I'm cautious, too. Only time I ever agree to be blindfolded is when I'm with a naked sorceress. Farewell. Wait. You're a tough nut, but have it your way. I'll mark the lab on your map and expect to see you there. Welcome to my humble abode. I'll ask you to be patient while my men check the formula. You've no idea how hard it is to find qualified specialists these days. In Blinheim's day, I worked with only the best alchemists. Blinheim? I'm under the impression I know the name. Somebody from Flotsam? No, Vizima. Long ago. I need a moment. The results are ready. Grand legal fist tech. Oh, this will be a big fat vein of gold. The truth will out. Besides, I have a low tolerance for lying. Don't you threaten me. Take your earnings fair and as agreed, and no tricks. Hello. <laughs> 